In 2002, it was a $500 honorary membership to a club, $1,200 tires, and a $5,000 education gift for Mark Martin. And we're going to come back to that last one in just a second. In 2014, it was a $530 stained glass medallion from his alma mater, Yale Law School. In 2015, it was a bronze bust of Frederick Douglass, which was valued at more than $6,000. Those were some of the gifts that Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas listed on his public disclosure filings over the years in keeping with post-Watergate federal disclosure laws. While each of those reported items could raise some eyebrows on their own, they are not even the most interesting parts of Thomas's disclosure forms. For that, you have to look at what is missing from those forms. In the past month, ProPublica has reported on a litany of items, on trips, and on payments for real estate that Justice Th Clarence Thomas accepted as gifts from Texas billionaire and Republican megadonor Harlan Crow, gifts, gifts that Justice Thomas routinely failed to report. If you add up all the dollar amounts from ProPublica's reporting, the gifts amount to more than $1 million, and none of it showed up on the disclosure forms over the years. Today, ProPublica is out with new reporting about more money, this time, tuition money that Crow paid to the schools on behalf of Justice Thomas's relatives. Or relative. In the late 1990s, Justice Thomas took custody of his grandnephew, a man named Mark Martin, at that time a child. By the early 2000s, Thomas decided to send Martin to private high schools, and Harlan Crow stepped in to foot some of the bill. According to ProPublica, Crow paid Martin's tuition at two different schools, though the duration and the total sum of those payments remains unclear. In a statement to ProPublica, Mark Pauletta, another longtime friend of Clarence Thomas's, said Harlan Crow paid two years' worth of tuition at those schools, which would amount to about $100,000 of undisclosed tuition gifts. While NBC has not independently verified this reporting, Crow responded to ProPublica with a statement about how he supported tuition for many kids, and he did not deny the reporting. Now, Crow wasn't the only person who offered to Thomas tuition money. Remember, there was that 2002 financial disclosure form where Clarence Thomas reported a $5,000 gift for Mark Martin's education. That gift, that $5,000 gift, was from Earl and Louise Dixon, the owners of a Florida-based pest control company. As ProPublica reports, Thomas was very careful in accepting and disclosing that contribution, According to two journalists who wrote a biography of Thomas, at first Thomas was worried about the propriety of the donation. He agreed to accept it if the contribution was deposited directly into a special trust for Mark. And yet, when it came to Harlan Crow, a multi-billionaire with an avowed and articulated interest in swinging the judiciary to the right, Justice Thomas stayed silent. And then... There is Thomas's wife, Ginny. Tonight, The Washington Post is reporting that Ginny Thomas received tens of thousands of dollars for consulting work in 2012, as directed by Federalist Society leader Leonard Leo. The Post reports that Leo instructed Kellyanne Conway, who was at the time a Republican pollster, to bill a nonprofit organization that Leo advised and then use that money to pay Ginny Thomas. This was the same year that Leo's nonprofit filed an amicus brief to the Supreme Court in a landmark voting rights case. In all, Kellyanne Conway's polling company paid Ginny Thomas and her consulting firm $80,000 between June 2011 and June 2012, with another $20,000 to come before the end of 2012. In a statement to the Post, Leonard Leo said in part, it is no secret that Ginny Thomas has a long history of working on issues within the conservative movement, and part of that work has involved gauging public attitudes and sentiments. The work she did here did not involve anything connected with either the court's business or with other legal issues.